oh, I'm not just eating vegetables, but you're, I don't just eat meat. That's what I'm saying. No, so no, you're no. Saying like you today, have, <clears throat> so you're saying you have regular have, bowel movements? Yes. Do you go every day? Yeah. Do you go more than but once it's not a day? Regular. day? It's not, like Chris was saying, every day at the same time. Everything I do is on any is on. There's no schedule to when I sleep, when I eat. Like I might eat my third meal at like three in the morning. Like today, I've only had one meal so far. <laughs> it was a poppy bagel with turkey uh -huh. breast and tortellini salad on the side. It's delicious, homemade, by the way. And I had some pickles and some uh, olives. Okay, obviously there's some like at the midnight hour you go and have some fucking secret meal that you don't talk about. I'll eat shitty food too, but I don't eat like let's you're say. Like, uh, uh, but I love the way you're like, oh, you know, oh, I just have a salad, and I just I only had one meal today. No, and like no, obviously no, at like obviously no, at like I, two a.m. or three a.m. you go and eat half a cake or something because that's what's happening. I'm not a, I'm not a, Guy, I do like sweets, but I'm more savory. So, like, okay, so uh, we have right now okay, apple pie and donuts. Tell me about the binge. Tell me about the next the binge that you're planning in the back of your head right now, because I know you're yeah, planning a binge. Eat, yeah, I want to go eat some more of that uh, uh, that tortellini salad. <laughs> no, come on, John, get get down to I the real. No, tell oh, me about the too. binge you're planning. The binge that you're planning. Ryan's planning a binge too. It's a different kind of binge, but I'm asking you about your binge. Hey Ryan, we shouldn't go, Ryan. Uh, last night I came down about three in the morning, and I had this. Is what I had? I had lentil soup. I had paella, and I had what was the third thing I had? Lentil soup, paella, and there was one more thing. So the lentil soup was a bowl. And two left over, it was delicious. And two good No, I didn't have any hagen does. Oh, then I had some apple pie after that. Covered in hagen does. Yeah, no, no hagen does. <laughs> I didn't have any meatballs. Wait, what was the third thing I had? Okay, so are you saying some? If that's really true and that's all you ate, then what I'm imagining is that you ate a full-sized meal worth of tortellini, a full-sized meal worth of paella, and a fucking Three double triple large slice of that apple pie. You probably ate apple okay. pie. Now you reminded me. The third thing was the tortellini. Yes, my wife made the tortellini. Yeah. So it was tortellini. The uh, the paella was only like a, a small bowl left from the other night. Friday night we had it for dinner. So that was like a very small bowl, like maybe eight ounces. The soup was one bowl. Left was left from uh, this place I love. It was really good. Big chunks of carrots and celery. I love <clears> lentil soup. <throat> and then tortellini. Yeah, I probably had about two servings of tortellini, and then I probably had at least two pieces of apple pie <laughs> <laughs> at three a.m. <laughs> and then and then he went right to sleep. <laughs> no, I was up till about six or seven. Uh, doing what? I was watching Game of Thrones. Oh my God! Where? Where were you at, at four a.m. watching Game of Thrones? Uh, in my theater. Theater. <laughs> no theater. I didn't turn the popcorn popper on. Don't worry about it. I don't. You're I didn't sitting open in up like a candy a, counter. You're sound. You're sitting in like a a chair, like a like a chair. Yeah, I'm in a chair like Ryan has, an office chair. <clears throat> what food did you bring with you with you to the chair? <laughs> Nothing. Come on, John. I swear to God. This guy, I never liked you. Why would I like you now? This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to go have some cherries, and then I'm going to have the tortellini. I'll finish the tortellini salad. There's 16-ounce container, like a little pint left of that. I'll finish that. Well, in the tortellini salad was uh, fresh mozzarella, Olives, carrots, green peppers, chickpeas, uh, artichoke hearts. So it was really nice stuff in there. My wife made that fresh. So what's up, Ryan? How's things? Uh, not bad. Yeah, it was good shit. It was really good shit, the toilet lady. So. Yeah. Oh, you're talking about the gorilla shit. 
what, what binge, you have are, the what binge are you planning, Lever? What's what what's the binge you're planning? Nothing. With? I have no I have no binge plans. I got to go downtown, do some shit tomorrow. And... Dude, blow your nose! Jesus Christ, how congested are you? That's a twang. I don't have any twang, man. Man, Come on, Ryan, what are you gonna next time you next time you binge? What's it gonna be? Food. I'm hungry. <laughs> he likes steak. I got like thing. barely any fucking food too. Like I eat food yeah. before I eat anything else. I get food. And what was that? Be, I, was thinking, I don't know. It's just food in general. I got. Um, like I said, I need food for sure and stuff. So. <laughs> what do you mean, food in general? It, be specific, man. What are you going to eat? His pantry is empty. His yeah. freezer is empty. Yeah, I eat anything right now. I have a few mm -hmm. things that I eat. Or if he came like, into my house what right now, be like, fuck it. Shut, shit. John, shh. Ryan, what are right, you, you take over. I'm going to go get something to eat. I had, I had two uh, uh, cheeseburger out of the package that was like tasted like shit. <laughs> it's, it's like, You're in charge. Yeah, and then I had a thing of chunky uh, chili. And that was it. That's what I ate today. From where? Where was the chili like, from? Grocery store. It was chunky, like the chunky chili stuff. Yeah, that's what I ate. Where'd John go? What are you going to eat next? Uh, nothing. I'm going to go to bed soon because I got to get, get up pretty early tomorrow. And then that's it. I probably, I'll have some ice cream. Maybe I have a bit of ice cream left. I'll have that probably. Did I hear something about you being sober? Yeah, I am. I'm so I'm dead sober Why? right now. I'm dead Why? sober right now. What? Why? Because I yeah. feel like it. Because I can't continue to fucking do that shit. It was costing me too much money that I didn't have. It put me into debt and shit. So that's why. Ladies, man, I'm gonna go. I'll talk to you guys later. Later, peace. Shout out to Danny from LA. There you go, Danny. Peace, bud. You hear that? <laughs> Guess that sound. <laughs> That's a good one. New game. <clears throat> Full fat ranch dressing. No, I don't eat the creamy shit like that. All right, I got my salad. It's happened so I've totally eaten it. No, Vern's waking up. Wait, he's just getting comfortable. So what do you think about Claire's show? Yeah, what do you think waiting. about Claire? I'm waiting to see if Vern is going to wake up or if he's going to go back to sleep. Looks like he went back to sleep. I think more people will probably watch it now than before. Don't you think? Yeah. So? I don't think more, but... Down though, he's not gonna have anything interesting. 
I don't think he had anything to do a show about before, so this actually gives him something to do a show about, which is probably good. Not only will he have an actual topic, right. but he'll have actual viewers now. So I would say overall it was a good plan on his part. But I don't really understand why he's doing a show. It always seemed unclear to me what the reason was. What his motivation was? Yeah, like what did he want to get out of it? Or I mean, I guess he identifies as a stand-up comedian, so maybe... Right, right. That's, I was just going to say that. So maybe that's what he put. I never understood like, Michael, Michael Strathmore as someone. I never watched uh, an episode <clears throat> with him. I don't know anything about him. I thought it was bizarre of him to choose someone that he'd never... Claire chose Michael Strathmore, someone he's never been on camera with before. Ever. I, th I think they're also very similar. I think you're better off with like a, a yin and yang type of deal. I think they're almost the same kind of guy. I don't know. I don't know what kind of guy my Michael Strathmore is, really. I think they have a lot of similarities. What, because everybody calls both of them gay? No, I think they're both very um, egotistical. <laughs> yeah, drama. And queens. so they should have had someone who wasn't egotistical as the co-host. Who would that have been? Like someone like you, someone humble no, like I you. I wouldn't do it. No, but who should they have gotten that's not egotistical? Who who should Claire uh, have gotten to in contrast? A woman. A woman. The my latest findings are that women of bizarre world are a lot more healthy mentally than the men are. The men are all fucked up. So maybe except for you, except for you, right? No, I'm fucked up too. Don't paint me with that brush. I'm normal. Okay, <laughs> no, normal is a new orange. Claire always. I don't know. I think he always was angry. I don't really think, I think these are just, this is this, it hasn't, nothing's really changed actually with him. I feel like this was always, this, this has always been the person that Claire is. Mm -hmm. I think Claire's always been angry at Elisa and always been angry at me. And I think he just recently became aware of Chad. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think he feels um, rejected by Elisa. That's why he's lashing out. Yeah, you know, actually, I think at one point, I'm not sure if I saw the show, but apparently Claire earnestly believed that Benji was jealous of Elisa's relationship with him. With him. Right. He yeah, a lot like, of crazy like Claire really believed that him and Elisa were so close. This is true of a lot of people like you. There's a lot of lonely guys over 50 who believe, <laughs> who believe that they have believed that they were on Elisa's radar way more than they were. Right. And yeah, with yeah, me, as long as you're saying in the past tense, yes, I would agree with that about me. But she did that. She made people think that. Oh, yeah. Blame the victim. That's real classy. No, it's not a victim, but she, you know, she she overly gave people attention so they would be on her show. What people didn't realize was she liked them for her show and, and she wanted them for a show, but not in anything beyond that. Duh. Do you communicate with her still? I got to mute Mark's calling. <laughs> that was your answering machine? I don't understand. You muted yourself. Or something. I'm back. Oh. I had a message coming on the phone. My house phone. 
No, I mean, uh, do you still communicate with Elisa? Yeah, just DMs and stuff. Nothing, nothing more yeah. than ever. That's the same as it always was. I never really had any. I, I always just sent a couple DMs here and there. I only ever saw Elisa on the air. Right. That was. I never talked to her on the phone or anything like that or emailed. Right. Well, that's what I heard was he was wanting to talk to her on the phone to plan his show, and that was driving her crazy. He wanted I have to- a whole collection of voicemails on my phone from Kleenex. He keeps calling and leaving messages on my phone. And what is he saying? How come you never pick up my calls, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> hey, you never, like- hey, you never pick up my calls. Uh, hey, this is Christopher Dickens. You never pick up my calls. What's up with that? And sometimes he calls me by my legal name. Right, right. I'm surprised he remembers that. Me too. Me too. Chad, if you want to speak to Ismi, call me and I'll put you on the uh, air. I, I'll uh, come in, friends. Yeah, so when did he come up with the name Best Greatest Recast Ever? I have no idea. I thought that was was like a slap in the face to Elisa. Oh, I didn't even realize that until later. I know what you mean, but it didn't ever even, it's such a preposterous, it was, it's such a preposterous notion that. But it's not a joke though. That's like, if you and I did it, it might've been a joke, but it wasn't a joke for him. You know, that's the point. I know. It should have been called the worst recast ever, and that would have been funny. I but know, um, I know crazy. Lisa wasn't happy. Like I, I, I've given you compliments, and I would like to compliment you once again. That your show is the only show out of every single show that spun off that was unique. You know, you all you had was honest, frank, but you had a ninety percent different content, and Elisa appreciated that. But every other show, and his show was leading to becoming friends too, basically with Subaru, uh, not Subaru, uh, Strathmore, and you, and and Bleed King. It was literally. And I know Elisa said to me that she didn't want that. And I told Claire in a DM, like, Elisa's not happy. He just said, oh, no, she's fine. I'm like, well, it's not that she's going to tell him what to do. But she asked, he asked, what should I do? And she said, make it unique. Make it your own. And it was so much. I mean, it was literally. I mean, he had the pillars of Elisa on there. You, Chad, Leaf King, and Gonzo are the like the only people who never went against Elisa. Now he's never- like, yeah, I'm sorry. I ba- I basically never agreed to be on the show. That's the case now for Kelly and Emilio. He's doing that with everybody. Yeah, it's weird. Oh, I have to go, John. Nice talking to you. All right. Have a good night. You too. Bye. Good luck with Bye. your weight loss. I care about you and your right. health. Thank you. Thank you. I'll try Here we got the seat.